Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. It's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics and today we are based in Adobe Illustrator. The reason why we're here today guys is to discuss how would we create a realistic illustration like the one you can see in front of you. What I've done is I've created a pill-like uh, shape and pill-like illustration simply using the shapes and using the 3D and materials tool within Adobe Illustrator. A really, really cool uh, window with some really cool options for us to really create some realistic uh, illustrations. And what I'd like to do is show you the step-by-step -step process of how to do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let's zoom out a little bit, like so by pressing the shortcut command minus on a Mac or control minus on Windows. What I'm gonna do now is set myself up a new artboard. So let's go to the artboard tool like so, and I can either click and draw it out or what I want to do is have that exact same size artboard. So I'm just going to come to the plus sign up here and add a new artboard. Let's move a little bit across. Okay. So what we need to do first of all, like I said to you earlier, is use shapes to create the flat illustration for our pill. So the first thing I'm going to do now is come to our ellipse tool. And I'm going to press shift because I want a nice, perfect, sized, proportionate ellipse. Now the color doesn't really matter. Um, because what we'll be doing later is we're applying a um, material to it. So it doesn't really matter what color you have. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is deselect, so basically click off using the uh, selection tool, like so. And what I need to do is create a shape in the middle. And I'm gonna do that by using the pen tool here. So if I hover over, as you can see, I could hover now and find that part, that anchor. And that is the exact center of the um, shape, horizontally speaking. So now if I'm gonna do is click there, I'm gonna click about here. And if I hover now, I'm gonna press shift because I want it to be nice and straight. And I'm gonna to hover to the center point like so. I'm gonna keep pressing shift like so, line it up with the other anchor. And create a shape like so. Let's put another color in there just so we can see what we're doing. Put a black in there or something like so. Nice. Now, the only the reason why I've created only half of this shape, I wanted to go across the whole ellipse there, is because I want it to be perfect either side. Okay. So now if I select this and if I go to Windows and we are going to find our properties window which is there okay so what i'm going to first of all i'm going to copy the shape by pressing command c on mac or control c on windows and then i'm going to paste in front by pressing command f on mac or control f on windows and then if i come here i can reflect it using this two tools here okay what i obviously want to do is flip it horizontally now what i need to do is set the reference point Okay, so if I set the reference point on the far right, and then if I ref reflect it, flip it horizontally, as you can see, I have the perfect side. And then what I'm gonna do now is press shift and select the other side, use my shape builder tool, which is situated here. And I'm gonna click and drag through to create that into a whole shape like so. And what I need to do is have that on the other side as well. So what I need to do is flip this vertically so i'm going to select it like so follow the same process command c on mac or control c on windows to copy then i want to paste in front which is command f on mac or control f on windows and yet again i'm going to flip it okay i'm going to flip it vertically this time but i need to change the reference point for it to flip so i'm going to come at the bottom there like so and flip it like so and then i'm going to again yet again follow the same process press shift to select the other side and I'm gonna use my shape builder tool here to click and drag through to build that into one whole shape. Okay, so there you can see we have the flat illustration of our pill. Okay, now what is very important is you should group all the, both these elements that we've created, okay? So you can select them both with your selection tool, either right click group, okay? Or I like the shortcut, which is Command G on Mac or Control G on Windows. Perfect. Now that has been grouped. Okay, so with this selected, what I'm gonna do now, let's close our properties window, is I'm gonna go to window. And as you can see, we have 3D and materials. Fantastic. 
Now we have all of these options to play with, object, lighting, okay, materials. We're gonna, we're gonna focus on these uh, during this tutorial. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to our object uh, option and I'm gonna press inflate. Okay, and then what I want to do now is change our uh, rotation preset. So we have certain presets here that we can use. And the one that I would like to be using is isometric top. Fantastic. Okay. Now, as you can see, what I need to do is manipulate the volume a little bit on this here. So we've got a volume option. And I just need to take that down a tad. Like so as you can see, it's affecting it in real life there. Okay, and then we can see we have the depth. So what we're going to do is just increase that depth just a tad. And as you can see now, our pill like shape, our pill like illustration is coming to life. Now, what I would like to do is add a material to this. Okay, the color isn't really isn't really realistic for a pill like uh, illustration. So what I can do now is come to materials. We have all of these materials that we can apply. OK, we have so many to play with all at our disposal. OK, but the one I think that works best with this particular illustration is cardboard paper. OK, and now you can see it's really coming to life. Now, there are many little things that you can do with these materials as you come down here. You can keep the resolution. The higher it is, the better quality you get. And what you can see here, you have roughness, fiber density, fiber intensity, which you can change and manipulate. Like so. You can change the color here. We'll keep the original color. Got the hue shift, so you can completely and change the hue. All the saturation and the intensity all there for you. Let's bring that down a tad, I'd say. Fantastic. Okay, now what I would like to do is apply um, some lighting, some shadowing to this um, element. Okay, and lighting is vastly important to 3D work as it basically adds the realism that we're looking for. Okay, and as you can see here, we have the lighting option. Fantastic. We have all of these options up here, diffuse, top left, right, which are obviously manipulable and changeable. So we have the intensity, that's the intensity of the lighting there, which you can change, the rotation, the height, and the softness. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have the shadow option here, right? And what I would like to do is add a shadow effect to our um, illustration here. As you can see, I have this nice sort of sh uh, shadow effect that I've applied, okay, to the original. So what I've got is our shadows option and we'll turn that on, okay? Now we have the distance from object here, okay? But what we also have is the shadow bounds, okay? Sometimes your shadow might be a little bit off or something, what I would suggest you to do is affect the shadow bounds. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take the shadow bounds uh, completely up there to, to the top maximum uh, element, and I'm gonna take that distance from down, distance from objects right to the bottom as well. Okay, now what we're gonna do is let's have a little play with this rotation now. So I'm probably gonna say, probably uh, say around 167. Let's give the height here about. 30 odd I'd say and as you can see look at the lighting and the shadow really start to come to life now softness let's say we bring that up around sort of 80 odd percent let's go sort of minimum 80, 86 okay now as you can see now it's really coming to life okay and what I want to do is just then add that extra sense of realism and this is through our render with ray tracing if we render the uh, uh object that we've created here you'll notice the realism really increase okay so now if i click that like so sometimes this may take a little bit of time for your computer to do okay but the results are very very epic and they show you how realistic your illustrations can become and as you can see very realistic there now i'm happy 
I've done everything. I've manipulated everything. So what I'm going to do is I just want to just expand this now because if I started to move this around and, and move it on the artboard, it will keep rendering. So just to say I'm final and everything, I'm just going to come to objects whilst it's selected and expand the experience. Fantastic. So let's close that window there like so. And as you can see now, I've created my pill like shape, really realistic. Let's create a nice background. So what we'll do now is get the rectangle tool. We'll come through here. And I'm gonna now press the eyedropper tool. And what we'll do is we will now send this to the back by right clicking arrange and send to back. And there you go, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, us as tutors, the courses that we offer, please don't hesitate in visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also take a look at um, our Instagram at Blue Sky Graphics UK. There are some really cool work on there by our really talented students. Also as well, there are tutorials that come out on a weekly basis, focusing on many softwares ranging from Elementor, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, XD, really cool um, tutorials. Take a, take a look, guys. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.